welcome back to my channel my name is Wodo I live in Winnipeg Manitoba Canada and I share content about immigrating to Canada life in Canada and anything that's going to benefit anybody that sees my videos I have been sharing content since January 2019 and this channel is about one year one one year and one month old and um, I'm grateful for everybody who has subscribed to this channel and have seen my videos and also for people who have shared it to their friends and yeah generally everybody and as a result of that i have received so many emails and please bear with me there are so many pending errands subscribers have sent me on and i am trying to solve everything and i hope that i will be able to respond to everybody as soon as possible and yes there was a video I did where I complained about the volumes of emails I was receiving and um, requested that people should check the videos and somebody dropped a comment that I should create a Patreon account and a PayPal account. I try as much as possible to keep the content free and these are contents people pay thousands of dollars for and I am creating them for free for people and yeah so I've created a PayPal account just in case you want to donate anything to this channel to support me so that I can take some coffee and keep the energy alive for everybody. Um, yeah, you will see the PayPal account um, in the description box of this video. So if you want to send any donation, you're free. If you don't want to donate, I'm not forcing you. It's just from your free will, just as I am giving to you this content for free. So in today's video, I'll be talking about Timmins. And Timmins is one of the communities that has been chosen for the rural and northern immigration pilots and i know some people say oh rnip is very difficult rnip is very difficult but i want to tell you something some people are saying rnip is difficult and some people are going ahead to create profiles and apply for jobs advertise on these places and some people have even been interviewed and some people have even gotten job offers so if you are among the group of people doubting yourself or doubting if it will be successful well i cannot convince you i would rather work with people who are very optimistic people who put in the efforts to make sure that they get what they want and if you are among the people who are optimistic please stay and watch this video so that you can take advantage of teammates teammates is a very peculiar community Timmins is about 41,000 in population and it's based in Ontario. Now, Timmins is very peculiar because they have several sectors, several occupations that they are looking for in their community. And I'll be reading them out. Healthcare and social work, trades, if you have any form of trades experience, licensed or unlicensed, you can apply to jobs in Timmins. Then business administration, that is people who have occupations in accounting, auditor, administration. Yes, there are job opportunities for you in teaming. You can go ahead, search for the jobs and apply. And then people in IT. So information technology, business administration, healthcare, and then trades. These are the four sectors that the community of teamings are looking for people to give community recommendations in and of all the communities i have seen Timin seems to be the only one that might be considerate in terms of giving out community recommendations what i mean considerate they have you know actually put points on various factors and for a, an applicant i would advise that an applicant with the spouse both of them should concentrate in searching for job opportunities in teaming and if you're lucky to get a job opportunity in teaming or your spouse is lucky to get a job opportunity in teaming you can combine the points together to get a community recommendation so it's not as stringent as vernon vernon like vernon they have this requirement that is so stringent but teaming is very is a very good place search for job opportunities get a job offer and then you'll be eligible to apply for a community recommendation get the community recommendation apply for a work permit and also apply for the rnip and then you are on your way to canada so i'll be showing you shortly on their website how you can go about applying what the requirements are 
and the community recommendation point. There's also another thing you should know. Um, for other communities, they don't charge money for processing fee, but Timmins is charging about $100 for processing fee. So I'll be showing you shortly on the website what you should be doing and how to go about it. For you to meet the eligibility requirement for the rural and northern immigration pilot, you have to go to the Government of Canada website to get the details. I'll be leaving the link on the description box of this video. And once you click on IRCC eligibility requirement, it shows you what the requirements are and who can apply. There is no age limit, but the communities also set their own requirements. But you need to meet the federal requirements first before you are eligible to apply. So you need to have a qualifying work experience, which means you have to search for a job in the community or you must have graduated from a publicly funded post-secondary institution in the recommending community. And then you also need to meet or exceed the language requirements, which means you have to write the IELTS exam and um, the CELPIP or the TCF or TEF. And you also need to meet or exceed the educational requirements. And the educational requirements are that you must have evaluated your credentials with any of the recognized evaluating bodies. And you need to show proof that you have enough money to support your transition into the community. For the amount for the proof of funds, for a family of one, it's $8,722. And for a family of seven, it is $23,080. The next requirement is to show intention to live in the community. And the final requirement is to meet the community specific requirements so that you can get a recommendation letter from the community. This is the website for Timmins and it is www.timminsedc.com. I'll be leaving the link on the description box of this video. If you scroll down, you will see information about rural and northern immigration pilot and information for applicants. The first step is to meet the IRCC federal eligibility requirements, which I already talked about. The second step is for applicants to secure full-time permanent employment in teamings in one of the eligible sectors or occupations listed below and i will scroll down so these are the occupations that they are looking for in teamings and they are in the following industry which is healthcare and social work the second is trades licensed or unlicensed the third is business administration the fourth is information technology. Please take note of these NOC codes. They need registered nurses and psychiatric nurses, nurse aides and orderlies and patient service associates, licensed practical nurses, general practitioners and family physicians, social workers, childhood educators, assistants, social and community service workers, home support workers, housekeepers and related occupations specialist physicians that means medical doctors can actually apply for a job offer that is if it is possible but you know um with medical doctors you can't practice in canada if you don't have your license the next column is for trades and you'll find occupations for heavy duty equipment mechanics automotive service technicians truck and bus mechanics and mechanical repairers Construction, millwrights, and industrial mechanics. Construction trades, helpers, and laborers. Welders and related machine operators. Carpenters, electricians, plumbers, transport truck drivers, heavy equipment operators, other transport equipment operators and related maintenance workers. Underground production and development miners, mine laborers, machine operators and related workers in mineral and metal products processing and manufacturing machine operators and related workers in pulp and paper production and wood processing and manufacturing um, i think the trade has more occupation and then the next one is business administration so um there are opportunities for auditors accountants and investment professionals administrative service supervisors, accounting technicians and bookkeepers, retail and wholesale trade managers, managers in food service and accommodation. The next one is for information technology. So if you find your knock code there, 
you better start looking for jobs in Timmins. Um, computer and information systems managers, computer engineers, information systems analysts and consultants, database analysts and data administrators, software engineers and designers. Um, please take note of this. They say applicants with a job offer not listed above will be considered only at the discretion of the community recommendation committee. So take note of this. They also have opportunity for people under the open knock code um, and it has to do with high skill level occupations such as engineers, vets, chefs and cooks um, are example of jobs being considered under the open NOC. Um, if you scroll down, you'll find some jobs that are excluded and not eligible for this particular community. And then step three is to get the community recommendation. So these are the information they have provided for people to get um, a community recommendation. And it says that the TEDC will prioritize applicants who are most likely to settle and reside in Timmins for the long term and contribute to the local economy. Only the highest scoring candidates will be further assessed for recommendation. And they give points on every criteria. For an offer of employment, you get 10 points. For work experience within the boundaries of Timmins is five points. If you graduated from a public secondary institution in Timmins, you get five points. If you are currently residing within the boundaries of Timmins with proof of lease agreement, you get 10 points. If you can demonstrate your language ability by obtaining at least a CLB4 across all levels, you get a 10 point. And if you have a family or friendship ties, so a permanent resident of Canada who has lived in Timmins for a minimum of one year, um, a reference letter is required. So you get 10 points for that. And then you if you have visited teaming for at least one night of stay in the past five years you get five points if your spouse or common law partner can contribute to economic and social life in teamings by receiving a way of a valid job offer you get 10 points have at least two years of full-time continuous work experience in one of the priority knock group you get five points and have english or french get five points and if your spouse or common law partner has submitted a second language test result the person gets five points the fourth step is for the applicant to send his application in one single email to the email provided and pay the application processing fee of hundred dollars which is non-refundable. To search for jobs in Timmins, you can click on jobsintimmins.com and it will take you to the website where jobs are advertised. And for now, you can see all the jobs that are currently available. If you find your job available there, please do not hesitate. You can go ahead and apply and keep your fingers crossed. You might get a job from Timmins. When you get your community recommendation, this is the page to Find more information about applying for your permanent residence. Um, you have to look at the instruction guide IMM0118 and also complete the document checklist. And your employer is required to fill this form as part of your application. And then once you scroll down, you find all the forms you are required to fill for the rural and northern immigration pilots. Complete them and make sure that you do not make any mistake while completing them. You also need to fill the IMM0008 form and um, validate it so that you can generate a barcode. It is necessary to generate a barcode when you're filling the form. And then click on this link to pay your fees and submit your application through Korea to Immigration, Refugees and Citizenship Canada, Rural and Northern Immigration Pilot Program centralized intake office p.o box 1500 sydney nova scotia it is a paper-based application and has nothing to do with express entry so please take note of that and 
while you are processing your permanent residence application you can also apply for a work permit to come to canada immediately for some countries the processing time for a work permit is eight weeks while for some countries in africa like nigeria the processing time for work permit is 18 weeks so now that i've shown you what to do another important thing is your resume please I have done a video on Canadian resume. I did two videos on Canadian resume. You can check the video and see what it is like. And then secondly, if you are still not comfortable about a Canadian resume, you can send an email so that I can refer you to a HR professional that can give you a Canadian standard resume. If you don't have a Canadian standard resume and you're just throwing random resumes applying to jobs in teammates, the employer will not look at your resume at all, you know. So it is important to send in a Canadian standard resume when you're applying for job opportunity in teammates. And just keep your fingers crossed. Be hopeful you would likely get a job offer and it will bring you to Canada. I will prefer people to be optimistic about getting job offers than struggling in the express entry pool and not knowing whether they will eventually ever immigrate to Canada at all. You know, these jobs are out there and that's why these pilots have been created for people to take advantage of these opportunities to apply for jobs, connect with employers, and then they're on their way to come to Canada. But one thing I've observed is that people just throw random resumes. They don't even prepare themselves for interviews. They don't even know the language very well. They're not speaking fluently. And all these are things that actually pisses an employer off. And then when people start complaining, oh, it's hard to get an employment from outside of Canada. It's hard, it's hard, it's hard. And I ask myself, why is it hard? That's because people have not prepared the necessary things they need to prepare, like preparing their resume, preparing their cover letter, preparing themselves for interviews. Even in Canada itself, it's very difficult to get a job offer if you're not prepared. You need to prepare yourself. And there are so many coaches, career coaches out there who are charging as much as $1,000 two thousand dollars just to review resume and coach you to get a job you know even canadians themselves pay for a career coach they pay for people who will review their resumes they pay for people who will coach them for interviews so if you who are outside canada and you have this opportunity of immigrating through a job offer i don't see why you should not invest in a resume a canadian standard resume invest in preparing a cover letter, invest in preparing yourself for interviews, how to answer behavioral questions, how to answer situational questions, how to, uh, you know, talk about your achievements, how to sell yourself to an employer so that you can, you can get a good job offer. The ball is actually in your court to prepare yourself very well for an employer to actually employ you. And I want to really encourage anybody who has put in the efforts, just keep putting in the efforts, don't give up. Someday, all your efforts will definitely pay. Thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video. Bye-bye.